Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cabaret, I'm Penj and welcome to Golftopia, a game about golf, but not ordinary golf. Oh no, this is about golf in the future. So we're going to be designing a golf course with the greens and the flags and the golf holes and all that kind of ordinary stuff, but it's all futuristic. It's all set in the future, so there's a great big futuristic clubhouse, lots of things are all sort of brightly lit with exciting neon things like they would be in the future, and there's no golf buggies. Oh no, that's very old fashioned. We don't want golf buggies. In Golftopia, we travel by Futurama style vacuum tube things like you can see on the screen there, which just looks all sorts of marvellous. And of course, there are evil weeds that we need to kill with gun turrets. So I kind of had to play this game. I couldn't not play it because it's golf, but also with gun turrets and vacuum style sort of transport tubes. And it just looks all sorts of kind of crazy and bonkers. And I thought, Joe, you know what? I have to play this. It's not out on Steam quite yet. It's going into early access first. And this is the early access version that we're looking at here. So because it's early access, that means that it's not completed and there might be, you know, bugs and glitches and all that kind of stuff. Um, and as always, if you're interested, there's a link to the Steam store page in the video description below. If if you want to wishlist it and check it out and all that kind of stuff. And also we were given a key to this by the devs, which is very kind. So thank you very much devs, that's very lovely of you. So I think without any further ado, let's get our futuristic golf trousers on and go and do some future golf. So the first job is to create our island where we're going to go and set up our futuristic golf course. These are all the default options. We're just going to leave these options as default. But if you want, you can change the amount of waters on the map and hills and mountains and all that kind of stuff. You do get to pick where we're going to start, however. So at the moment, it set us to start right here in the middle. I quite like the idea of starting just here. Uh, is that that one there? Yes. So I like the idea of starting just here. We've got a bit of water over here, kind of inland. That could be quite handy. We've got a bit of a hill, so we could do something with a hill over here. And we've got quite a lot of these exciting rock formations here. We've got like a little sort of a little stone henge type structure thing just there. So we might be able to do something with that. That's a tree. Hello tree. Uh, we might be able to do something with those there. That could be quite good. Build that into a kind of a golf uh, course type thing. What do they call? A hole. That's it. A golf hole or whatever they call them. So yeah, so we could build those in. So I quite like the idea of starting there. So I think that's what we'll do. So yes, we will start here, please, on this little bit. And then I assume, I haven't got this far when I did my little sort of trial run, I assume that we can then go forth and buy extra bits of land as and when we've got the money. So yes, but I think this looks like a pretty good place to start. So yeah, we'll go here, please. And in terms of difficulty, we'll have normal economic difficulty and normal weed difficulty, which would just play an entirely ordinary kind of default game, I think. Welcome to your very own golf course. Despite what you may have heard, making a profitable golf course is difficult. The faster you build, the more problems you'll have to deal with. This isn't a race, and even a single hole golf course can turn a profit. Build up slowly, and be sure to read the advisory notifications when you see them. Good luck. Okay, so here we go. So we're in the game. So let's pause for a second and we'll just have a little look around. So here we go. This is where we're going to start. We saw this before. And then we have all these options down here. We have many, many different options to choose from. So we can build golf structures. We can change the ground types. We can actually do some terrain tool stuff so we can make things higher or lower. There's obviously stuff like public buildings. We can put in like little benches or restrooms and drinks machines and that kind of stuff. There's utility buildings because, of course, we're not employing people in the future. Of course we're not employing people, we're employing drones, so you can have drone hubs and things. We can put down lovely trees and rocks and what have you. There's arches and things like that, so arch fountains and large fountains. Um, there are things like skill boosters, we can put those in because our people when they come, um, they don't like not being good at golf. So we can give them a little bit of an artificial boost to make them feel a bit better about themselves. Prestige items that we've not got access to yet. And then there's stuff up here as well. So our people, this thing here, this is orbital power. So we accrue this orbital power as the game goes on. And then we can use it to kind of advance our kind of golf course, I suppose, and make things a bit better. So here, look, orbital extortion saps money out of your golfer's wallets from high orbit. They don't like it happening, but money is money. So from up on high, we can just steal people's money, which is brilliant. Or we can make them a little bit better so they think they're great at golf when actually we've just sort of given them a little bit of subliminal golf powers. So, so yeah, there are many different things for us to do. But job number one, I think we need to set up the clubhouse. So let's go to here. We'll go to the public building and we'll set up the clubhouse, wherever that might be. I'm not entirely sure. Where is the clubhouse? Where's the clubhouse? Or is it a golf structure? There it is. It's a golf structure. What's that thing? A windmill. Oh, you can blow the golf balls in different directions. Oh, that's fun. 
So let's put our clubhouse down. Now, these are massive, and they're also very futuristic, because, of course, we're in the future. But there you go, look. It's a gigantic clubhouse. So I think maybe we start over in this corner. Maybe let's put it over in this corner, and we could have we could have a hole going round here. Maybe a hole over that way. I quite like the idea of that, maybe going through those rocks. And then could we also get one going up onto this hill? If we flatten that out a bit, we could have a, a kind of a hole going up toward that hill. That might be quite good. So, uh, right, let's rotate this round. So let's bring this round here, and we'll just drop this down here, and there we go. We have a futuristic clubhouse, and look at that. That looks very good. It's got floaty things. It's got bright neon lights on it, which is very exciting. We can't open it yet because, of course, we have no actual sort of you know, golf course for them to go to. They can just come here and just hang around the island, I suppose. So let's get one of these sorted then. So we need to get ourselves some ground types done, but we also need to put down a hole. So where are we going to go first? I think we try and build something that starts here. So they can come out the clubhouse. It can start here. Go along here and then kind of round this way. Just a bit of a challenge to get around the rocks, but I think that should be okay. So let's get ourselves a hole just here. So we'll pop a hole, yeah, there. That'll do. So in between those rocks, make it a bit challenging. Of course, there is money. We have 3,490 future dollars. So we need to make sure that we don't blow our budget on exciting things, which is a bit of a shame because lots of the things are really expensive and very good. So um, yeah, then let's get ourselves, I mean, you can have bumpers. A round hyper bumper. Golf balls that touch the hyper bumper are violently blasted away. Blasted away. Not they don't just bounce away, they are blasted away. And look, we've got like sort of uh, sort of like pinball table type things. So angled hyper bumpers. We could put one of those in here. We could put one of those in here and maybe try and angle their shot up there. <gasps> yes. Oh, that's what we're gonna do. God, that's what we're gonna do. Hole number one is gonna be using angled hyper bumpers. Of course it is. Um right. They need a green to go on the hole. So we have all these different terrain types over here. So dirt and grass and sand traps and stuff. Um, let's increase the size of that. Can we increase the size of that a little bit? No, that's as big as that circle can go. So let's make that a sort of a hole like that. So that can be where the actual green is around the hole. Lovely. And then we want to get ourselves some, is it fairway, where they just sort of, that's that's just the main bit where they play, isn't it? That's just, I don't really know much about golf. <laughs> you might be surprised to find out. I don't know much about golf. Um, so yeah, so we'll just put this sort of around here. Uh, let's fill in that bit there as well. So there's none of that sort of dirt type thing. And then, yeah, we'll just bring that down here like so. So just keep bringing it down like that. Let's, let's try and get around the bottom of those rocks as well. And then, yeah, then we want to bring it round here, like so. Let's have a little bit of sand, shall we? I don't think we pay any money to put this stuff down. I don't think we pay any money. So it's okay. So it's not too bad at the minute. Let's just put a little bit of sand around there, just as a feature. Just as something to look at. There you go. And if you're in a queue waiting, if you're waiting for somebody else to start, you could you could go and make a little sand castle in there. That's how golf works, isn't it? Right, how do we tell them? Where's the T? Right, here's the T. So this is where they're going to go. Okay, lovely. So currently, that is their route. That is their route they're going to take. They're going to kind of try and get over here and then over there and then down toward the hole. But then why don't we put one of these in? Why don't we place ourselves an angled hyper bumper? <laughs> so how is this going to... Oh, that's, that's beautiful. Hang on, hang on. Rotate it round so it's a bit more sort of... Uh, can we put it to the back? Maybe to there? Can we do that? Can we have one? There. Can we do that? Are they now more likely to... Yes, look. So they're going to try... <laughs> this is brilliant. They're going to try and get a shot to there to knock into the bumper thing, I assume. And then that's... The... They're going to try and knock it into the hole from the bumper, which is brilliant. Okay, well, good luck, everybody. <laughs> so there we go. And there's all these other bits and bobs as well. There's you know, ball launchers and stuff. So balls that land on the launcher are blasted upward. Why don't we put one of those in as well? They sound fun. So if you accidentally, you know, have a terrible shot... We'll just, we'll just put a, a launcher thing just there. So that can ping the ball into the sky. <laughs> Why not? Um, and then down this side, can we just line it with some nice trees? That might be quite nice. There is a... Yeah, there you go. Spray. Oh, crikey. Yeah, you can spray foliage down, but that's quite big. We don't want it to be that big. We want it to be a tiny amount of foliage coming in. There we go. Look, just sort of drag that down there. So lots of trees on that side. Just to make it look nice. There we go. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty good. Oh, it's different foliage as well, look. 
There's like sort of little shrubs and things. I want a bit in there. Or is that a shrub in there? There's like a little sort of pink kind of bush thing. That's very pretty. Okay, so there's hole number one. Do we want to add anything else to hole number one? Do we want to do anything else... I mean, it already looks kind of silly enough as it is. I think we might need to leave that. We can we can put more of these kind of crazy <laughs> sort of, you know, sort of pinball table style things in on other bits. And um, what we might want to do is um, we might need some lights because this is a 24-7 golf course. So at night time, in the day, it's fine. They just play golf like you know, normal, apart from they're in the future and they've got crazy sort of pinball style bouncy things. But um, at night, they carry on playing and their balls glow in the dark. The golf balls glow. So we have to make sure there are enough lights around the place to charge up the glow in the dark golf balls so they don't lose them. So we have to put these lights around the place. So I think we'll put a light just there, drop a light over there. And then we might need one over here as well. I mean, can we put one next to that rock? There we go. So a couple of lights as well, just to make sure everything's fine. And then outside the clubhouse, we might want to have a little sort of welcome area over here. So a little bit with some shops and, and maybe, you know, a little bench rest area and some prettiness over here. So can we get that floor? Can we get that ground in play? Um, I'm not entirely sure if we can get that carrying on. That looks like a nice floor. Can we get that ground? I do not know. Hang on, would it be here for flooring? No. Uh, okay, right, hang on. Let's see if I can just figure out where this floor might be that's around the clubhouse. I don't know if we can sort of break that out over here and make a nice little sort of path type thing. Ah, I think it's there. Path. Is that is that that path there? Yes, it is. Okay, lovely. So there we go. So we've got the path. So let's just break that out into a nice area like this. Uh, and then maybe we'll have a sort of a round a bit across the top like that. And then we'll sort of do that. Right, can we get... Now, I realise that we've only got that much money, but a fountain might be quite nice. 400 monies for a fountain. What if we put a fountain sort of in the middle of this area just there? So let's drop a fountain in, and then we'll go back to... Uh, oh, where was it? The path just there. So make that look a little bit more centred. So we've got a nice fountain there in the middle and then I think we need to put a couple of these things around the place. I mean, we can have some benches. They're absolutely fine. So let's tuck a bench... Um, which way round are they sitting on that bench? They're sitting it like that. Yeah, so let's put a bench just there. So they can have a little sit on, on the future bench. The bench of the future. Um, and they can look at the fountain, which will look very, very pretty and lovely. They can look at that. And then let's get... I think we definitely need to get a restroom in. Because that's that's going to be bad, isn't it? That's going to be troublesome if we don't have a restroom. The only thing is, we've only got 1,270 monies left. The restrooms are 800 monies. That's quite a lot of money. That's quite a lot of money. Um, maybe we won't put one of those in right now. Let's hope that people just have very, very short trips. Uh, okay, so now I think what we can do is we can we can work on this. As we get more money, as people come in and they pay, we can work on this. So let's have a little look then. So if I think if we click this, it tells us all about T number one. So it says, oh, it says length is too short. Increase the distance to the hole. Really? Really, really? Oh, okay. Oh, I thought that was... Oh, okay, yeah, maybe that's the radius where it... Oh, hang on a minute, but it's... It comes out of there. Oh, okay, fine. Well, let's put it in the middle of these trees then. Right, a slight re-alteration of all this. Let, let's sort of rejig this then. Um, can we move that? I don't know if we can move it. We can refund... Joe, you know what? Let's leave that there. We'll leave that there. Um, can we move this? Test it. What's that? Golf checkpoint or a golf checkpoint tele-exit? What's that? Oh, I don't know what that is. Okay, let's not do that right now. Um, yeah, can we... I don't know if I can move that. I think I have to sell it and start again. We'll get rid of that then. Okay, so let's put the... Let's get rid of that. And get rid of that. And get rid of that rock. And get rid of that tree. And then let's put the hole in and that bush, even though it's lovely. There we go. So we'll put the hole over there then, if it's being picky. So let's put the hole there. Um, right, there we go. Is that better? Are you happy with that now? Yes, they seem happier with that. So now we need to go and redo the ground again. So fairway. Let's just sort of put more fairway going up like that. We might need another light as well to cover that area down there. They want to get the green around the actual hole itself. So there we go. So very nice. Get ourselves a light, which I think... Uh, where was a light? A light. Where's a light? There it is. So pop a light up here. There we go. So that can charge up the uh, the sort of nighttime golf balls over there. And then we need... Can we put something else in here now? 
They're going to bounce off that thing. I feel like we need something over here. Some silly mechanism whereby they have to use one of these things. What have we got there? Hyper Bumper Mega Wicket. What's that? If a golfer can shoot their ball through the Mega Wicket, their mood will increase based on the distance travelled. Lower wickets are more exciting than higher ones. Mega Wickets can be useful to help shape the shot path of your golfers. Oh. Oh, it's like a... Oh, it's like a crazy... <laughs> <laughs> what is this? This is this is crazy. What's this? Okay, so there's kind of a a height type thing. Okay. Well hang on then. Can we how do we rotate that round then? So if we if we put a mega wicket just there, are they gonna try and shoot through that they are? <laughs> They're gonna try try and position their shot through here. Um what else can we have? A ring of fire? If a golfer can shoot their ball through the centre of the ring, their mood will increase. Based on the distance travelled. Oh, we can't put that one of those in right now. I think that's a bit near. Oh, that's something we can certainly think of. That's very exciting. Okay, Joe you know what? Let's let's open this up and see what that's like. It's not it's not telling us that it's bad. Um the challenge is very high. The beauty is low. That's a bit of a shame. We've got 970 monies. Let's get ourselves let's get ourselves some more trees down this side, actually. That might be quite good. So some more trees along there. There we go. And in there. And in that gap there. I want trees. More trees. More trees and things. Uh, put a little shrub in there. Okay. How does that look for beauty now? Does it, is it better? It's still low. Hang on. Rocks. What about some rocks? Let's add rocks. Uh, decrease the size of rocks. So bring that down. Maybe we'll just put some rocks around this side as well. Just to make it feel a little bit more personal. There you go. Look, that's quite good. I like that. I'd go here. I do golfing in this place. Um, a flower garden. Something for the golfers to look at that's pretty. Oh, that's... Hang on. How expensive is that? 400 Yeah, we can't really afford that thing right now. Let's open this up. The beauty is still low, but never mind. Um, yeah, I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. So let's open our place. Let's open this. So open the golf course. Oh, hang on. We need to open the hole first. Okay, so open that. Um, and the T1 is open. And now we need to do this. We can open that. So once you open your golf course, you cannot close it again. You'll begin paying up keep on structures and groundskeeping. Okay, so now it's open. We shall now press play and we can watch people come in. <laughs> it shall be glorious. And here we go. So there's the manager, Dr. Manager, on, I'd like to put out, on a hoverboard, of course. Where are our people? Oh, there's lots of people coming in. Noah, Maya, Nyla and Carol have all come. Welcome. Welcome to the golf course of the future. Right, Maya is the first to have a go. What happens with this thing? Oh, <laughs> he even makes a pinball style noise. So she's got her ball down to there. That's a very good Carol. And, oh, Carol's had a shocker. Carol's had a shocker. But she's delighted that she's rubbish at golf. Noah, you do the golfing. Okay. So Maya, or Maya, how you pronounce it, is the only one to have hit the springy thing. And, oh, oh. Nyla, that was rubbish. Why are you happy? You're, the ball is behind a rock, Nyla. I mean, I don't, I don't know much about golf, but but you don't. That that's terrible. You do not want. <laughs> you do not want. Hang on, he just shot it through that rock. Can you shoot through rocks? Okay, right, fine. That, that's a new thing. And maybe that's how the future works. Yeah, you can shoot through there as well. They're trying to go through the door, but they've missed. So now you're over there. You're in the you're in the shrubs on that side. Where's where's the person who had the first shot? You lot are terrible. <laughs> Who was the first person? Was it Maya or Maya? Are they all waiting for Maya to have her go? Come on. Come on, Maya. Show them how it's done. Show them how it's done. Through the door. Yes, there we go. And it went onto the sproingy thing. Oh, it sproinged it into the middle of nowhere. So it's down here now. <gasps> oh, dear. Okay, let's keep watching. Let's keep watching. There's a tree. So let's see who's going to who's gonna take glory. Right, somebody's on the green. Somebody's on the green. Was that Carol? Carol's cross with that shot. That was a pretty good shot, Carol, to be fair. You're on the green. Noah, oh, just on the green. He's entirely not bothered about that. So who's next? Maya's got it back out of the rough. Oh, she's angry with herself there. And Nyla. Right, they're all on the green. They're all on the green. She's also angry with that. Why are you angry? That's a good shot, wasn't it? Why are you all struggling to... <laughs> the, the hole is just there. It's not that difficult, is it? It's not, it's not ridiculously uphill or anything. Is it? I think it's fine. I think you lot are making a bit of a, a bit of a hash of this. You're making a bit of a meal of it. Right, Carol. Come on, come on, come on. 
Somebody must be able to do this first. So Nyla. Oh, she just missed it. Is she going to be cross with herself? She might be a bit cross. Okay, Noah. How did it go over? <laughs> you hit it too hard, Noah. Oh, come on, you lot. I mean, I'm not good at golfing. Yay, and that's where we make a bit of money. So Maya enjoyed golf so much so that it was $36 worth of enjoyment. 52. Wow. And Nyla's one was 18. Nyla didn't enjoy it as much. Nyla didn't have as much fun. And now they're done. They're done now. So we've only got the one hole at the moment. So there we go. So they're finished. So they then go, oh, okay, right. That's us done then. And then they will slowly walk back here. But of course, we have more people playing. So we've got uh, Crystal and Eddie are also having a little go. Eddie's over there, which means we're making a bit of money. So, so far, we have made 32 future monies. And we have Jacob, Trinity, Evan and Preston playing down here. Well done, Preston. You hit the springy thing. Good job. Um, Okay, so that's good. Did anyone else hit? Oh, you hit the top of the springy thing. <laughs> wow. Good job. So, there we go. So, I mean, the money is coming in. The money is coming in. It's when they get to the ends. It's when they actually pot the uh, pot. What do they call it that? When they put the ball in the hole. Do they call it potting it? I don't know. When that goes in there, 60. Okay, yeah, Eddie loved it there. And that's when we get paid. That's when we get our monies. So, and everyone else is just going back home, I think now. Because that's all there is for them to do right now. So, we need a second hole, don't we? We need a second hole. If they're going to go to here, maybe... Could we... Oh no, can they get across there? We could terraform that a little bit. But I kind of want to use these things a bit more. Could we put another thing here? Could we get them underneath this thing? Uh, the sort of the Stonehenge rock structure type thing. Put them here with the T. And then have them kind of go this way. And then have to go through here. And we'll remove some of these trees. And get them going over there somewhere? I don't know. I don't know what the best thing is to do with, with golfings. What's the best thing to do with golf? Oh, look! A little kind of spaceship appears and <laughs> drops the people off. <gasps> That's very exciting. Oh, we truly are in the future. Um, yeah, let's try that. Let's put a T just here, and then we'll try and build a course around here, possibly. We'll try and get a, a course, a hole, or whatever it is. We'll try and get it sort of as though it's going from here, maybe under that. So we might have to build like a Sproinger thing just there to spring it that way. One of those things, an angled, an angled Sproinger to spring it over there, and then maybe put the put the thing over here, put the hole up here somewhere. But then that could be quite fun. That could be quite fun to get ourselves a hole up here because we could terraform this. That might be quite good. Let's try that. And right, hang on. Here's a plan. Then here's a plan. Start just here. Try and get them round here. And then over to, say, here. So the hole can be just here. But we'll have to sort of block it off with things. I don't know how we're going to do that. And then we'll have another T over here. Where they have to work their way up onto the top of here. That might be quite fun. Okay, so the moment everyone's just sort of... Everyone's leaving and going home. Because there's only one hole. So, right, okay. So, pause. And space is paused. Space is paused, everybody. Very, very happy. Okay, let's work on this. Then. So, a T. We'll put a T just um, there. Does it mean we can't build it on those yellow bits? Um, yeah, I don't understand what those yellow bits are showing me. I don't want to demolish the thing. I don't want to put that down and demolish the the lovely Stonehenge-style arch. So let's put that just there. So the T can go just here. Oh, the T is facing the wrong way. No, not that way. No, this this way. <laughs> oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. Destroy that. Away with you, T. Um, I, yeah, okay. Right, hang on. Rotate it. Rat, rotate. And the T can go there. That's better. Right. So the T is here. Then it can come out to sort of the middle here. And then we'll try and knock it that way. So let's get ourselves one of the angled hyper bumpers. We're going to call it a Sproinger. We want it to sort of spring through here. So, yeah, like that, I think. That's perfect, isn't it? So, yeah, if we put it, say, uh, there, that can then spring through. So you can try and get it through that gap there. Which, yeah, I like that. I like the idea of trying to get it through the arch thing. Okay, so now we get the fairway, which is this bit. So we'll drag the fairway through here and build a bit like that. So there we go. So now they've got a fairway. So they know they need to kind of hit it down here. And then we want a fairway to go through here. Let's get some, some sand traps. Put a bit of sand around the edge because that's fun. Um, a bit there. 
And maybe we can put a ballot. Let's put sand over this side. So if they do mess up, if they hit their shot too hard, they'll be in the sand. That could be quite good. Let's put sand all the way around the edge. Whee! Yay, that's fun. Sorry, Jacob. You're walking in the sand. Have you got your sand shoes on? Um, and then, when it comes through here, this can be more fairway stuff. Yeah, okie dokie. Um, let's get rid of some of these rocks. I think we need to uh, we need to get rid of some of these. So, away and away and away. So, they're going to have to hit that to there. Boing to there. And then, yeah, then we want to put something over here. Can we demolish many trees? I think we can. Demolish nature. <laughs> Harsh, but progress is coming. There we go. Dr. Manager just smiling there going, yes, destroy nature. Um, and then we then get ourselves some more. No, 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 no. Fairway. So bring that up here. So grab that. Just draw a big old shape like so. Get under that tree actually like that. And then do we put the hole here? Can we do that? Is that is, is that going to be happy? Are they going to like that? That's the thing. Are they going to be happy with that? Right. Is that... Oh, no. They're, they're cheating. They're just going straight over and ignoring the sproingy thing. I'm saying it's too short. Yeah, I know. I know because I want, I want them to go that way. They're circumventing the... There's, oh, they're cheating. They're doing cheetah pants. Okay. How can we make them come down here? Bounce off the Sproinger and then go that way. I mean, do we have to build big, tall structures here to get in their way? <laughs> that might be what we have to do. Do we have to just build some rocks and things? Um, I don't know. I'm not entirely sure if that's what we can do. Can we build a rock? We can build a rock, but it did absolutely nothing because it's not tall enough. Uh, oh, okay. That's, that's a shame. I kind of wanted there to be... Uh, yeah, I want to hit that thing and then come through the gap. But yeah, I don't know if we can build something here. It's going to get in the way. Trees! Maybe trees could be put over here. That might be quite good. Let's destroy these rocks. Okay, rocks are gone. Then let's put trees in. Ha ha! Now they are using the sproingy thing. There we go. So they're using the sproingy thing. They're still trying to shortcut through. And I think actually in, there's a little bit up here, which is for like tutorials getting started. I think it did say they try and get the shortest route that they can. Yes, yeah, so they try and go from there to there to make it the quickest they can, because that's what golf is about. But if we block this off, then yeah, they should then start using the Sproingery thing to then go through there and then across like that. So let's block that off. So they're not doing that right now. So we'll put another rock in just there. Yeah, they're still they're still cheetah petering, aren't they? Right, hang on a minute. Let's put a tree in the way. No, they're, they're still <laughs> they've found the tiniest gap just there. Okay, right. Do that. Let's put a tree just there. So stop cheating, you cheaters. Nope, you're 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 still just going through that way. Okay, and that's not going to be long enough, is it? That's not, oh no, it is. Apparently, that's fine. Apparently, that is entirely entirely acceptable for a golf hole. It doesn't say it's too short or whatever. Uh, the challenge is very high. Apparently, <laughs> is it? I suppose you have to go through those trees. Joe, you know what then? If that's what they're going to do, fine. We'll put fairway under here, look. So we'll have some fairway coming this way, like that. Connect that up with a bit of fairway as well, if we can. Is there a shrub there? Yeah, there's a thing there. Right, so then put fairway into there. Hopefully it doesn't change their path. And then, yeah, we've just got a little bit of, you know, it's it's just a slightly different route. They have to get it through these trees. That That's still quite fun, isn't it? That's okay. And if they want to, they can walk through the lovely arch. Through the lovely Stonehenge-style arch. I think we go for that. But let's make the green a little bit bigger. The green is a little bit kind of teeny tiny. So there we go. So we'll make that a bit bigger. You can stretch out over that way toward the water, possibly. And a bit over there as well. Okay. There we go. So we'll go for that. Do we want to put anything nice down here? Um, what about some grass? Can we put some grass down over this side? Just go, yep, grass. Rather than that mud stuff, just put some grass down. There we go, look. That's a bit nicer. Just drop that in. There we go. So I quite like that. Are people going to be happy with this? I do not know. But let's open that up. So we can open it, which is fine. So yeah, we'll open that. So now T2 is open. So some people have got some more places to go. And there's a springy thing as well, which I have to hit at the right angle. Okay, let's see if anybody... Has a go at T number two. 
I think Lucy is having a go. Lucy, she's hit the Sproinger and it's, yeah, that, that wasn't bad. That was not bad, Lucy. Right, here comes Helen. How are you going to fare, Helen? Helen has missed the Sproingy thingy entirely, but she's delighted at that. Yay, I've missed the fun Sproingery thingy. Okay, right, so never mind. So let's watch Lucy then. Where's Helen going to go next? Uh, oh, Helen, you just went there. Oh, she's, oh, she's chipped it right up onto the green. Oh, very nice. Okay, what's Lucy going to do? She's in a bit of spot of bother. Oh, into the rough there. Is that what they call it? It's next to a tree. Let's see who can win then. Who's going who's gonna to do it first? Oh, that's Lucy though. Oh, it's terrible. She's aiming at Helen. She's trying to take Helen out. She's furious that she missed Helen. Helen, Helen has amazing hair. Look at that. And Lucy, just let Helen have a go. Come on, take turns. Take turns, everybody. Right, Helen, your time is now. You you, you ruined that, Helen. You, you blew that chance. And Lucy, in it goes. 28 monies. And Helen, in it goes. 40 monies. Okay, we did all right. We're making quite a nice bit of money. We're making an okay amount of cash. I'm quite happy with that. Here come some more people coming into play. There we go. There's four. Is that four more people? Yep. Maddox, Luna, Naomi, and Kirk. Wonderful. Uh, and we have some more people down here playing as well. Uh, Reese, <laughs> Diana, and Charles. Okie dokie. Um, so yes, they're all playing as well. Lovely. Lucy, are they going to have a little sit down on the bench? <gasps> they're using the future bench. Well, that's what it looks like to sit down in the future, everybody. It looks very, very futuristic and exciting. And uh, there's Dr. Manager and the little bot. The little bot does run around and repair things. So this little drone thing is like a maintenance bot. So Dr. Manager will scoot around at things and repair stuff. One thing we didn't put over here was lighting. I just realised we haven't got any lights. Where were, where were they? There. There's no lighting over here. So there's going to be a bit of a problem. So let's pop some lights in. So we'll put a light there. And we've got some monies for it. We'll put a light just there. And then we've got to get a light up this side somewhere. Um, let's put it out there. There we go. So we've got some lights as well. So the golf course, I'm sorry, hole number two is now lit at night time as well, which is wonderful. Uh, okay, we've not got too much money. Let's run time. In fact, what's this? What could we do one of these? I don't want to extort money out of people's pockets. That seems a little bit harsh. We could make them better. We could upload superior golf skills directly into the brains of the golfers, <laughs> which just sounds... I mean, it sounds potentially illegal, but it's fine. We can have a go at that. Um, we can fill up turrets and vending machines and things. We can do some de-weeding. We haven't seen the weeds yet, actually. We've not come across them. Um, or we can have a mysterious happy beam. Make your golfers happy with the overwhelming force of science. Okay. How about, let's do this. Let's give them some skill injection because that makes them better. And I think the better they feel they're playing, then the more money they get at the end because they've enjoyed their time. So let's give them all a subliminal skill injection. Over there, let's give those lot some magic skills. There we go. So they now should be feeling like they're better at golf. I don't know if they are better, but they certainly feel like they are. Oh, our golf course is currently called My Golf Course, but we can change that. We can name the golf course. Oh, yes, that's very exciting. Okay, right, let's rename it. That's much better. We've renamed it to Go Go Future Golfers. So there we go. Because, of course, yeah, they're, they're in the future and they're doing golf and they're go-going. And we want them to go-go and go-go to the holes quicker and make us a bit more money. Money is looking pretty good. Income of 638, expenses of 247. And I think the expenses are just sort of like maintenance things. So we have to maintain the lights and the springy things and that little archway thing and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's what we're paying maintenance on. But overall, we are making a profit, which is very good. Let's do some skill injection as well. Let's skill inject you lot just there. And there's two people over there as well. We'll give them some skill injection as well. There we go. That's lovely. So because that does top up, that just continually tops up, I think. When they're, is it when they have a shot or something? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure, but that does sort of creep up. There you go. It's gone to 471 already. So that will just sort of slowly creep back up anyway. So that's fine. So yeah, we can keep using these things. At some point, we could give that a go just to see how much money we get out of their wallets. Well, that might make them sad. And I don't want them to come to the amazing future golf course of go, go, future golfers and then feel sad that like we're ripping them off from space. So maybe that, maybe we won't do that. I don't know, but it'd be fun to see how much we can get out of them via via magic satellite robbery. Uh, I don't know. We'll think about it. We will see. Here come some more people coming in. 
Hello there. Just a couple. Just Bryce and Elsa. They've come in. That's lovely, though. Welcome, Bryce and Elsa. And, yeah, hole number two. Looking very popular. Look at that. 39. Lots of people having a great time over there. Hole number two. Maybe now, now we've got ourselves that amount of money, maybe we could look at hole number three. So what I'm thinking is we build it in kind of steps if we can. So we have the T down here and then they need to get to a flat bit just here and then a bit that's across the top here and they can play across the top. We'll have to level this up somehow because it's a little bit kind of a, a little bit slopey so the ball will keep rolling down. So we might have to level that up and then the, the hole can be somewhere over here. That might be quite fun. That sounds like a good idea. I mean, we might need to remove some of those. Let's remove the shrubberies and things. Let's just demolish nature. So away with you, nature. Bye-bye now. I don't think it costs any money to remove nature. Well, it costs money to put it back, but that's fine. So we'll remove all of that nature from there for now. So there we go. Away with you, nature. And then let's look at this. Now, I didn't use these. In my little sort of, uh, my little tiny play that I have with this, which was only about five minutes, I didn't actually use any of the terrain tools. So here we go. This could be fun. So uh, we want to start down here. So the T can be over here. That's fine. Then we want kind of a flat bit just here. So what if we uh, smooth the terrain? Um, we want it to be sort of flat, flattened terrain. There we go. So what if we just said, right, there's a flat bit. Flatten the terrain just there. Does it cost us money to flatten the terrain? I don't think it does. I think it's free to flatten the terrain. Oh, that's wonderful news. Okay, so already um, height changes. Oh, oh, hang on. Yes, yes. Accept those changes. Oh, there we go. So it's a little bit higher. So they can start here, chip it up onto there because if they can't, well, they can try and roll it up the hill, I suppose. And then we want to do the same again. So we want another step bit, say, just here. That's quite high there, though. So we want you to lower that terrain. So bring that down to, say, there and then flatten that bit to say, oh, hang on a minute. No, no, don't flatten it to there. No, 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 no. You're, you're flattening it too much. You're flattening it too much. Now raise the terrain. Raise the terrain like so, like so over there as well. Raise that bit. Um, smooth it. Can we just sort of flatten it down like that? Can we just make that bit nice and smooth, but higher up than that bit? Okay, so accept those changes. So we have a bit here and then a bit up that That looks rubbish. <laughs> Hang on a minute. The, there must be a way to do this slightly better than that because that looks terrible. Um, but yeah, if we flatten it, it just sort of squishes it right down. Uh, yeah, and we want it to be higher up than that. I kind of just want it to flatten across to a certain point that we're on. Okay, right. This is going to take a little while to do. Let's just, I'll just faff about with this. I want to get our multi sort of step golf hole in. Okay, there we go. We'll have to give this a try. I mean, this might be all sorts of terrible, but we'll give it a go. We've got a bit of money to play with. So the T can go just there. Uh, in fact, let's put it back a bit. I assume if we build on a tree, it just demolishes the tree. Yeah, so the tree just goes. So I quite like that. That's surrounded by lots of lots of trees. Oh, it's pointing slightly the wrong way again. Hang on, hang on. Put the T into it's facing in the right direction. So sort of uh, hang on a minute, rotate, 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 back round again. It sort of wants to be facing sort of there-ish. That's still a little bit too far. So bring it round so it's looking a bit like that. There we go. So put the T in, so they're going to go up to here. So we're going to want to get ourselves, uh, in terms of this, we're going to want a fairway just here. So a little area on here where you have to try and get to. And that's fine. And this can also be fairway down here. So lots of fairway stuff. So yay for the fairway. All the way down there. Uh, around that tree as well and then they want to get onto here and then we want them to sort of come up onto here onto this bit this raised area just here try and bring the fairway all the way to the edge so there you go so try and get up onto there if you can do you know what let's make that bit down there fairway as well oh oh that's a bit rocky there okay fine so then try and knock it up to there and then try and knock it over here and and we could put some of those whole thing not whole things some of the the hoops they had to sort of jump through they get the get the balls through they might be quite fun because they enjoy those it said so yeah let's get all the grass done for there yeah let's bring that round more fairway more fairway so bring that round um and the green actually the green can go here so we'll have a green just there lovely and a golf structure so we have to have the whole just Boop, right in the middle, splendid. I mean, say right in the middle, sort of in the middle. So their plan, yeah, there you go, look. So they're currently, oh, they're gonna try and chip it up onto there, are they? 
oh, that's very fancy pants. But if we then start putting some of these things in place, uh, where are they? Where where were the ridiculous things? Where were the where were the silly things? Hang on, not public buildings, utility buildings. Where were they? Skill boosters, prestige. Hang on, there were there were things. There were like hoops there to go through and stuff. Oh, here we go. Right, yeah, ring of fire. If a golfer can shoot their ball through the centre of the ring of fire, their mood will increase based on the distance travelled and how high the ring is. <laughs> the ring of fire is pretty advanced, so some less skilled golfers may not even attempt it. Best, clo uh, best place close to the tee uh, to leverage to long driving distance and predictable shot position. I don't know what that means, but I'm just going to put one of those just here because that's that sounds fun. Um, right, hang on a minute. F brings it that way. Right, hang on a minute. So they're going to want to sort of have that. Um, hang on a minute. F brings it that way. Maybe there. So yes, yeah, so they can hit that through the ring of fire, which sounds very exciting. So knock that through onto here. Then what can we put up here? Can we put a mega wicket onto here just to give them again something to try and aim for? So if we put one of those and have it a bit lower down, uh, where was the height thing? That was rotate. That was rotate that way. Um, how did we adjust the height? We did this before E. Uh, oh, Q. Q is for the lower it down. Yeah, so put that there. So they can try and hit their ball through the, the ring of fire. Then through the magic gate thing of a jigger. But then we will probably want something else over here for them to go for. Because the minute they're then trying to knock it dangerously close to the, to the to the sea, which is all sorts of daft. So let's try and put one of those gate things here as well. Um, maybe we'll just shrink it a tiny bit. And rotate it so it's there. So you're going to change your path. Yeah, you're still going to want to hit it down here though, which is a bit weird. Why not just hit it so it goes that way? Why are you hitting it over here? I don't know why you're putting it down here. Um, Okay, that's fine. We'll put something down here then. So let's get ourselves some fairway. So get some fairway in the middle just here then. That's, that's all good. We like the fairway. It's all nice. Yay for the fairway. Uh, there you go. Look, nice. Just big, big bit of fairway. Does that change what they're doing? No. Okay, so now do we want to put something else in here which they might like? Golf balls that touch the hyper bumper are violently blasted away. Sh should we just put one of those in for fun? Let's just put one of those just there. And if they do hit it, it can just go bong and just blast away. Um, and then, yeah, what can we put over here? Oh, that's brilliant. That's very, very silly. <laughs> so they have to knock it through this futuristic fire hoop, then through a magic gate, off of a pinball type sort of sproingy thing over here. Maybe we could put another sproingy thing just here, just in case they wanted a bit of a bit of silliness. We could just say, yeah, there you go. There's a sproingy thing there as well. Why not? So we can bounce off that and maybe bounce off that. In fact, I don't know how they're going to do that. I don't know how they're going to actually do that because that's not going to work, is it? Hang on. Can we let's get rid of that? We can't move it, can we? Can't move it when it's down. No. Okay, never mind. Uh, get rid of that and that. Can we put the sproingy thing, the, the the sort of flat sproingy thing, over in this direction? Let's have that kind of sproinging over there. And then, why are you not going through the gate? There we go. That's what we want. So hit the sproingy thing, go through the gate and over here. But then, can we put a hyper bumper? Um, can we put a couple of these? I think we can afford two. We'll have one there and we'll have one <laughs> there. There you go. Right. And let's see if we can hit it through the middle. It can go bong and go everywhere. And then can we just put some like nice things down? Some lovely bits of nature. So yay for rocks and things. Um, so yeah, so we'll put we'll put some trees down. We'll drop trees into place and such like. Uh, maybe put some trees around the back of there. Oh, not enough cash. Oh, yes. We only have 28 of your monies. Right. Um, okay, let's open this up, shall we? Let's open this very silly golf course. Is it going to let us? Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. What is this? Golf checkpoint tele exit. Golf checkpoints can be turned into teleporters simply by adding a tele exit, creating a link between them, uh, creating a link between them. Keep in mind that only the ball will be teleported. Make sure you have adequate tube transit for your golfers. So hang on. So that teleports the golf ball. Where? Where? Where does it teleport the golf ball? That's a golf checkpoint. Hang on. Golf checkpoint to your holes gives you more power to shape its shot path as golfers must shoot through the golf checkpoint before moving on to the green. Ah. Oh, okay, right. We might be able to use that in the future. So let's open that and let's see what nonsense ensues from this. We do need to put some lighting up there. So we do need to get some some proper lights going on. Although that is, <laughs> it is actually just, it is a ring of fire. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It is a ring of fire. 
Okay, fine. There we go. So we've got a great big kind of fire hoop. Who's going to be the first to have a go at this? Come on. Move time on nice and quick. Who dares to take on the Ring of Fire? Okay, is it Adam? Is Adam going to be the first to take on the Ring of Fire? Or Ethan or Lucia? It's Ethan. Ethan? And I think it went through. I think you got through the Ring of Fire. Oh, it's gone into the sea. <laughs> Your shot was terrible, sir. You've knocked it into the sea. That's much better. That's much better. Also, the golf ball is defying gravity by just hanging on there. And they got it... Do they get it through the Ring of Fire? But... Oh, dear. Yeah, that's not a good shot, is it? That's not good. And Ethan's having another go through the Ring of Fire. And that's much better, Ethan. Slightly less watery that time around. Okay, we need some lights for this place. Um, where are they? Lights. Because, yeah, it's getting to night time. And, yeah, they do not have lights to charge up the, um, the nighttime golf ball things. So they will lose them. So we'll put one there. Um, oh, we'll have to put one over here somewhere. Maybe pop one there. And then we need a couple along this as well. Wow, this is a huge big course. Um, can we put one right in the middle? Just to annoy them. Now I get some of the gate thing. I will put one there. And then we probably need another couple, I would have thought. Yeah, this is quite long. This 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 one's quite a tricky a tricky golf hole to deal with. And then we'll put that one at the back in the middle. There we go. I want to see what happens when we get to here. Are they going to mess this bit up? I don't know. Also, why is that changed? I thought we made that. I thought we made a lot of this fairway. There we go. Put fairway back. Thank you. Uh, right, let's see what they do then. I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued to see how it, what's going to happen when they get to the end. They got it through the, the gate thing, which means they're happy. Yay! You didn't quite get through the gate, but you're still happy. You've... Oh, no! Oh, nearly into the sea. That's gone a little bit far. Is anyone going to hit the spring? Oh, and yeah, that's gone quite far as well. But they're still here. They're still here. Let's see if they actually manage to get it into the hole this time round. Is it Lucia first? Oh, nice shot. Oh, you're a bit annoyed. Hang on, there's some other people coming in already. You guys have taken ages. Chop, chop. You're taking too long. You're taking too long. Hurry up, you lot. Uh, and we yeah, we made quite a bit of money there. Made quite a nice bit of money. That's pretty good. Now, yeah, we have gone into the minus monies there. But yeah, it's all coming back in, look. There we go. And now they're all a bit cross. Why are you all a bit cross? Ah, Okay, so now there's no way for them really to get home. There's no way for them to actually get back home. We could do with installing one of the tube connector thingamajiggers. So while your golf course up with transport tubes to zip your golfers and workers around at ludicrous speeds. Only the connectors have a cost and can support up to four tube sections. Tube sections are free and can be removed and reconnected at any time. So we're going to need to save up a little bit of money because we need at least two of these. So maybe when people complete golf, uh, sort of a hole number three, we can then bring them back to over here, bring them back to the clubhouse. But yeah, we need to get ourselves 700 monies to do that. Although the money is coming in quite quick. That's coming in very nicely indeed. Yeah, okay, let's just, let's wait. And then we can get ourselves some sort of connecty tube pipe magic trans tube connector thingamies. Oh, I see. That's how we buy the extra plots of land. There's a thing here for buy property. So, yes, yeah, so if we wanted to buy that bit, it would cost us 500 monies. And then each property section you buy will cost more than the last. Okay, so it becomes progressively more expensive to buy all of the extra bits around the island. Okie dokie. Right, we're not going to do that right now because we want to put in the magic travel tubes. So, now I'm not entirely sure how this works. I don't know quite yet. So, they finish this hole over here and they think, right, I'm, I'm done for the day. So let's put one of those in and then, oh yes, <laughs> we have, <laughs> this is, the oh, that's brilliant. Oh no, but we can't quite get it to where I want it to go because there's, there's things in the way. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Okay, maybe they can come over here. In fact, can we get it over here? We can get near the end of hole number two and we can put that there and then we could drag that over to just there. That's quite nice. Pop that there. And can we also... Oh, we can't afford another connection right now. That's very unfortunate. But now, look, we've got a magic sort of sort of vacuum tube thingamajig. Let's watch Fred and Amy have a go at this. Right, so come on. Come on, you two. Chop, chop. Well done. Oh, thank you. 78 minutes is nice. And 51 is very welcome. I imagine now they're going to get into the magic tube thingamajigger. Right, okay. Enjoy your trip. They go in and they just sort of fly along. Which is brilliant. Look at that. And they end up down here. And then they can have a little sit down over here and do what they want to do. That's wonderful. We've got magic kind of vacuum tube things. Future RS tubes. That's very good. Yeah, we do need one 
over here, I guess, near the end of this one as well. Maybe just connect that one up round here or something. I don't know. But but yeah, I like that. We've got silly sort of space tube travel things. Just taking a look at the prestige items over here. So we've got like the driving range. It costs quite a lot of money. It costs 5,000 to get a driving range in. And the driving range is just where you stand still, isn't it? You stand still, you get a load of golf balls and you hit them with the golf stick. They go really, really far. And then you just keep doing that repeatedly over and over again. I think that's what they are. Um, but they're really expensive, as is the putting green. They cost 5,000. But both of those, it says there, as well as requiring big piles of cash, also need a one-star resort. You need to upgrade your clubhouse to build this structure. And if we click on the clubhouse, indeed, there is a levelling kind of thing to the clubhouse. So currently we're on level zero. It's just a basic clubhouse. But if we want to upgrade it, it's going to cost 4,000 monies. But if we do that, it's going to open up these exciting things just here, which I think probably are going to be very good indeed. Um, it induces happiness and reduces boredom. Both of those things there. So I think we should do that. It's going to cost four grand. 4,000 of your future dollars, which is quite expensive. Also, I noticed that there are different levels of membership. So I wonder if we start getting these fancy buildings in, we can then start getting different kind of membership tiers. We might get some bronze members in, who I imagine might pay a little bit more money because they're bronze members rather than the 200 basic members we've got. So I think we will do that next time out because we are going to come back to Golftopia. I feel like we've got unfinished business with Golftopia. We've only just really started. We've got the three holes set up of you know, varying interest. This one's kind of a bit silly. And um, number two is not actually that exciting really, but it's there and it's fine. It's generating some money and some interest. Um, and number three is just all sorts of silly. You have to chuck a ball through a big ring of fire and then across here and there's sproingy things all over the place. So yeah, with holes of varying sort of uh, varying interest. We've got a little transport tube thing as well. But over here, for example, this here, hover rentals. If we have a, uh, if we've got a two-star resort, so if we've been able to upgrade the uh, clubhouse twice, we can have hover rentals. Golfers can rent hoverboards. Yes, please, I'm sold. We're going to try and get hoverboards in because that just sounds brilliant. So yeah, there's a lot more for us to do in this game, I feel. We can buy some more land. And there was a message that popped up saying that there are the weeds. The weeds are on the way. The weeds are coming. Now, I don't know exactly where the weeds are. I don't know what they look like, but I imagine this is what the weeds look like. They're over in this corner at the moment. They're not near us right now, but this stuff here, they look like troublesome weeds and they've kind of spread over here a little bit. Oh no, they're over here. Oh, hang on. No, the weeds are spreading. They are quite near to us. If that's a weed, then yeah, they're quite near to this side of our this side of our sort of block that we own. So yes, that might be something we can look at as well because we didn't even get to look at those. And you know, that means we can build these, where is it? Uh, these things here, laser turrets. So as well as having all these futuristic things here, we can also have lasers, which is brilliant. So yes, we shall come back to Golftopia and carry on building up the Go Go Future Golfers golf course because uh, yeah, we've only just really started here and there is much more for us to do. We can create some more sort of uh, very silly golf holes as well. I think I, I kind of want one involving lots of these. Just a great big area with lots of hyper bumpers in. Just loads of them. Just to go bang, 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 bang. And they can just sort of all pinball around the place. I think that might be quite a lot of fun as well. So we'll give that a go. But yeah, we'll do all that kind of stuff next time. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. This is a lot of fun. I like this. This is suitably daft and very, very silly. And yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this. So hopefully you have enjoyed it too. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And of course, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with how we get on here next time out in Golftopia. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard, and I will see you next time. Let's follow Matt Spence, aka Duke Nukem, as he chases after a dirty villain. There are a lot of angry people still. I don't know why. Never ever employ him, he's terrible. This place is full of rats. Timothy Robles with your kind of crazy eyes. You have tea leaves in one of my shops. <laughs>